it is a beautiful day today the perfect kind of day to go adventuring my two boys and I have decided that cycling is the best way for us to go in search of some ghost shrimp today A few years ago, we introduced the ghost shrimp into this pond. The fish population exploded with the newfound food source. But the explosion of fish invited some new creatures into the pond. The predatory came on found their way into the pond and started feasting on the large quantity of fish they found there. The caiman quietly and gently moved their way through the waters in search of fish they can ambush. Appearing to be floating logs, these ambush predators feasted and soon started to grow in size and numbers. The smaller size came on, seeks out the smaller creatures of the pond. But the large caimans are much more dangerous as they can grow in excess of 12 feet large enough to attack larger animals and even man. These large caiman lie in ambush in the shallow grassed areas waiting for an unsuspecting person or animal to venture close by and then they spring. This large, rugged looking caiman is moving into the shallows to set up his ambush. Scaring away some tilapias in his way as he moves closer to the edge. The ghost shrimp is usually found in the shallow waters on the edge of the pond within the grassy areas. You have to be very careful as there are many dangers within this area. The very poisonous coral snake dwells here and you must wear proper foot protection or you can be stung. The coral snake venom is a very potent toxin and can kill a human being in a matter of hours. But its fangs are very small and usually cannot penetrate through protective footwear. But they are not the only danger here. The caiman can also ambush their prey from these grass areas. The pond is very beautiful and it's quite relaxing to sit and enjoy the ambience of being surrounded by nature. Moving to another area of the pond where the grass was not as thickly grown made it much easier for us to fish and look for the ghost shrimp.
these young cichlids, usually called cuscarub, locally in Trinidad, are one of the more common fish that is found in the pond. Although these measure about an inch and a half, they can grow up to about eight inches. The local guppy, also called the seven color guppy, is also found in this pond. And finally, the first ghost shrimp. The ghost shrimp is a natural freshwater shrimp found in tropical countries. Trinidad is one of the places they can be found naturally. And another, these ghost shrimp and cichlids that we catch here will be introduced into another pond to start a new generation of fish and shrimp, just as we had introduced them into this pond. And what is this? A pond monster? No, it isn't. It's a tadpole transforming into a toad. It has already grown its legs, but have not yet lost its tail. This young toad tadpole is approximately 3 inches or 7 centimeters long. They are much larger than the average frog tadpole which is usually approximately one inch or two and a half centimeters long. Here we can see a tightly packed school of toad tadpole much larger than the average frog tadpole swimming just under the surface of the pond. The toad tadpole, just before it becomes a toad, breaks off from the school of tadpoles. It looks for a twig or some object floating just above the water, which it could climb on and rest until its tail drops off and becomes a full-fledged toad. Sandeep is having great fun with his mini reel and rod as he catches various sizes of cichlids. This is Sandeep's catch. All the fish and shrimp that we catch today will be transferred into a new pond to start a new generation of fish and shrimp. These young cichlids will also be added to the new pond.
and of course the ghost shrimp they will all be added to the new pond when they multiply they will be a major food source for the fish that grow in the pond We had a wonderful day, enjoying the atmosphere at this pond. It is now time for us to start on our journey home. While on our way home, we stopped off for a little snack. This wild flower grows on a vine. The vine climbs these shrubs in this case a small black sage shrub the flower is edible it has a crunchy texture much like a lettuce leaf but a sour flavor sort of like a citrus it is high in vitamin c and a usual snack when we are in the outdoors Let's over. The cichlids are released into this rehabilitation tank for a period of about two weeks to ensure there is no disease or any illness they would transfer into the new pond. After a period of about two weeks, we will then transfer them into the pond. The young cichlids will have their own rehabilitation tub. And the goat shrimp rehabilitation area is filled with weeds because they love hiding among the plant life. We can see one of the reasons why they are called ghost shrimp. As soon as we release them, they disappear. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. Please like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this adventure. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to support my channel.